Another big thing that you guys have going on, uh, and I'll have to, you know, when we get into post, pull in your shirt a little bit. You got a pretty cool shirt there. Obviously, got the TCL logo, but next to it, one that I think some people are familiar with. We're very excited. We announced at the beginning of the year we're the official TV partner of the NFL. Football is the only sport that sells TVs. To be associated with such an incredible organization right. and just the size and scale of things has kind of set the industry on notice. TCL is here to play. Welcome into the Independent Thinking Podcast. This is your host, Rob Stott. The last time we talked to TCL, and more specifically, uh, Bruce Walker over there, the, the still my favorite, one of my favorite titles in the industry, product evangelist uh, at TCL. Uh, you know, they had some great things going. We were talking about you know their TVs and new uh, series they were launching, um, some of the, the specific technologies within the TVs that they were uh, working to innovate, and uh, that still continues. But we recently had the chance while we were together in Nashville for primetime to sit down with Bruce and talk about uh, something big that's happened for the brand over the last couple of months um, you know, since we've been able to chat with them. And that's a partnership with the National Football League, um, you know, a pretty big brand in and of itself that uh, you know, rakes in you know, several tens of millions of views over the, each weekend in the fall and um, you know, roughly what 130 some million on one Sunday in February. So, uh, a brand that has a lot of recognition, um, you know, and, and has some has presented some really unique opportunities for TCL as that official TV uh, partner of the NFL. So, um, get to dive into, of course, the technology, but you know, the the ways that TCL and now its retail partners, you know, can leverage that um, relationship with the NFL in their own business. So. A really cool conversation and always just a great opportunity. Bruce, uh, such a cool guy you know, to be able to sit down with him and uh, catch up and see what's going on. So let's dive into it. This is Bruce Walker of TCL here on the Independent Thinking Podcast. All right, we are back on the Independent Thinking Podcast coming to you once again high above the expo floor here in Nashville. Mr. Mr. Bruce Walker, product evangelist at TCL. How you doing, man? Great. Great to see you again, Rob. <laughs> Excited to be here. Great venue here. Great to see things uh, from up above. It's a different perspective, exactly. isn't it? It's cool little, up here. A little calm. Yes. <laughs> I know. Not as hustling and bustling. It's hustling and bustling down Absolutely. there, but these glass walls do a nice job exactly. keeping the noise out and letting us sit and record a podcast, man. So how you doing? Doing fantastic. Having a great time. Love being here in Nashville. Love being here with all our partners uh, nationwide, seeing all the great things that are going on from a sales point of view, all the retail partners that are down there, uh, seeing TCL uh, for not the first time uh, and really getting getting to know everybody. It's a great time. Yeah. And you guys, a a different approach this year. And I like it because, you know, we've seen the booth. You guys have an awesome, every show you guys go to, you have a great presence. Uh, And and you do here too. Just you're in a a tough a, a, yeah, a little, little bit, bit about what you're doing. Yeah, so we spent years, um, you know, as as with TCL as a brand, building mm-hmm. the brand, and you know, as a result, for the past four years, we've been a top two best selling TV brand in the United States. Yep. Uh, part a lot of help from the partners down here, yep. um, all the members here, and what we're doing this year uh, is really partnering with our um, our distributor partners. So we've got setups uh, within our work and within Next Level, uh, getting one step closer to the people that are the most important, the end customer, and then the yeah. retail the retail members here that that actually represent the product to our customers. So it's great to be uh, one step closer and in, in helping people understand the brand. Yeah, and, and talk, I, I mean, we talk a lot. Um, you know, we get Randy Dare on this podcast yeah. occasionally to talk about the distribution network and the power of that for our dealers. Talk yeah. about that from the vendor side. It's, What's it it's, it's, it's a great thing. It's, it's very, very efficient for us. Um, our distributor partners are amazingly efficient and allows us to touch um, the, the turn of the mom and pop retailers that are yeah. out there, some bigger, some smaller, that wouldn't necessarily um, get the opportunities to deal with, you know, big brands yeah. uh, and get them out there and get them represented in a whole different channel um, out there. So it's great to great to see these folks. It's awesome. And now I know it, we can kind of see it. It's on the other side of the yeah. floor. If you look like somewhere, I, I don't know if my finger's <laughs> in the right spot, but like right behind that 1800 sign, mm-hmm. uh, you got the O'Rourke uh, yeah. booth back in the view there. What, what are you guys showing off this week? So, we're show, so we're showing, we got our whole new revamp lineup this year. We've, we've made our uh, lineup simpler. It's broken down into two classes. Um, our S classes are simply smart, our good quality TVs. And then we're really excited about our 
Q class uh, yeah. line of TVs that really brings all the technology that TCL has been known for over the years and our innovations over the years and putting in a big class of TVs and amongst the technologies we show uh, in our Q class, Q class, our QLED, that's what the Q yep. stands for. Yep. So quantum dot, back when TCL introduced the world's first big screen quantum dot TV in 2015, yep. we've really been at the forefront of that technology. Uh, we've also got incredibly new bright panels uh, leading all the way up to our flagship QM8 TV, which has our uh, latest mini LED backlight, yep. which is really the, the industry standard for brightness and performance. Yeah. And again, the fact that we introduced the world's first mini LED TV back in 2019, this new lineup, on, in addition to being an incredible value that we've always been, I'm very proud of the fact that we're seeing reviews against the big boys that yeah. we grew up respecting, Samsung, Sony, LG, and they're talking about our TCL TVs. And only at the end of the review, do they say, oh, by the way, it's a really good value too. It competes amongst the best of the best uh, in each price category, and it's still at tremendous value. It's, it's awesome. So, I mean, listening to you talk about it, it's, it's kind of the pitch that the retailer can make to that yeah. customer, right? But what, what, what could you tell them? Um, you know, they're swinging by the booth here. What are you telling them as, as far as how they can position, you know, your product in their stores mm -hmm. for Absolutely. success? So depending on the line, we've got that S-Class TV. For the customer that wants the basic TV sets, the good quality uh, TVs, you know, we've got everything from the second bedroom basic 32-inch TV yep. um, to what we're really excited about within that S-Class, while it's not that premium performance, our S4 TV in a, in a category of not quite premium but still a good solid TV, yeah. we've done a lot of work in that model series for this year. So this year we've added things like Dolby Vision, yep. the best HDR content, some great gaming features with an automatic gaming mode. We've got Dolby Atmos passed through for better audio. So even in that class of TV that a lot of manufacturers have kind of let slide, um, yeah. we can deliver a better experience for our customers. No, that's awesome. What, as far as, you know, trends, I, we've always, obviously the, the push has been to bigger screens, mm -hmm. right? And seeing, uh, you know, more consumers interested in those larger screens. What? What are you guys seeing? Is, so, it, is that still the, the push? Bigger and better. I mean, right. that's that's our mantra for this year. And if you look at the fact, just you've been doing this a long time too, not that we're old, you're younger than me. <laughs> we're getting but, there. <laughs> but the fact that in 2023, TCL is going to have an option of three different 98-inch TVs yeah. um, to purchase, wow. to have a choice. Right. Um, and our flagship TV, which, is, which puts the industry on notice in terms of performance, yeah is looking at sub $10,000. Expensive, but it's a premium 90-inch <laughs> TV. Yeah. And we're gonna have 90-inch TVs for well less than half of that. So part of our messaging, it, it seems interesting to me that for, for years we talk about 98-inch, the customer's biggest concern is it's too big. Right. And we've spent a lot of time telling people how big it is. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> too big. I thought there was no such thing as too That's, big with TVs. In my mind, <laughs> guys who like to watch sports <laughs> and things like that. Uh, we we, we want to market these TVs and let people know, give them permission yeah. to have a TV that big in their house. And obviously we see it as another, why would somebody buy a short throw projector? Right. When you can get a TV that ba it's bigger, but you plug it in, hang it on the wall, put it on a stand just like you would a 50 inch TV, but you get so much more viewing error. And what I love about our extremely large TVs like our 98 inch a lot of people are replacing a seven or eight year old 65 inch TV yeah. that yeah. back then the bezels were this big you're talking to me you're talking yeah, right so, to me I'm at that yeah. point so you're looking <laughs> so at, I might be popping down so there, there. <laughs> so when you look at like going from in our big screen case from a 65 inch to an 85 inch it's less than eight inches wider because there's no bezel anymore it's all super it's so it, it's more screen yeah. less cabinet to deal with yeah, and then no, obviously incredible. the picture quality has come through the through the roof with all the quantum dot mini led yeah. local dimming on all those sets so I, it's, I, uh, it's, it's exciting to see people having a choice in tvs that size yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here counting my walls trying to figure out yep. <laughs> how many well, i can fit, fit. yeah absolutely <laughs> no that's incredible um well, I, another big thing that you guys have going on, uh, and I'll have to, you know, when we get into post, pull in your shirt a little bit. Go. You got a pretty cool shirt there. Yeah. Obviously, got the TCL logo, but next to it, one that I think some people are familiar with. Yeah, uh, you know, the NFL. I, I was at CES earlier yeah. this year, and I saw you guys had uh, in your booth quite the uh, the the events going oh, on. It was fantastic yeah. at CES. We had NFL yeah. player after NFL player just rolling Coming through that through. booth, man. So, it was yeah, so cool. So we're very excited. We announced at the beginning of the year we're the yeah. official partner of the NFL. We're the official TV partner of yeah. the NFL. Um, so we're very proud of the fact that the NFL has chosen us to represent their games uh, the best that they can look. Um, and we're very proud to have that partnership. Um, and in terms of the scale and scope of things, in the past we have amazing partnerships yeah. with the TCL Chinese Theater. Uh, Giannis, the Greek freak, was yeah, our brand ambassador yeah. for a while. So we've yep. been out there getting the message out there, but this is really on a whole different level. When you talk about NFL, 
the Super Bowl's I mean, the NFL's is the most the, viewed sporting yeah, event, single sporting event absolutely. in the world. And football's the only sport that sells TVs. People don't yeah. buy new TVs for the World Series, right. things like that. People I, buy I think new TVs. I'm TV. not sure if I'm allowed to say the word, but that event that happens in early February, that yeah. that's when you the, see those. That's with, the big push. Right? Absolutely, yeah. we can certainly sell. <laughs> we will sell TVs for, for the big game. Yeah. Um, and that, with that partnership, we've also got some incredible brand ambassadors, Justin Herbert, yeah. DK Metcalf, or some of our uh, names are out there. We're also doing some great uh, partnerships with stadiums, uh, SoFi yeah. Stadium. Uh, we've got uh, the Falcon Stadium. We've got uh, up in Seattle. Okay, yeah. We've edit that better. Both. CenturyLink. Or up in, yeah. yeah, up in <laughs> Seattle. So we've got great partners. Yeah. So it's going to be an amazing level of exposure. You yeah. mentioned the, the, the viewership of the top 100 most viewed broadcasts last year. 88 of them were football games. And I think um, so out of 100, that, I yeah. think that makes 88% that, that <laughs> if I'm like good that. at math. Um, <laughs> and, you know, to just, again, to be associated with such an incredible organization right. and just the size and scale of things has kind of set the entry on those TCL. TCL's here to play. Um, yeah, that's incredible. So very excited I, about it. Well, even for you, like, what, talk about what the, uh, the role of that, you know, the name kind of explains it, but being able to work with those brand ambassadors and get them involved. Yeah, um, we're, we're going to be having commercials with Justin Herbert. We're going to be doing a vote, uh, shows with videos of him and just people to recognize, you know, his, his contract extension was just yeah, a, yeah. Gonna, he's going to be one of the great quarterbacks uh, in the NFL think, for a long time to come. I think we've had, what, like five QB con, like contract records set yeah, in the, been, la- the last offseason. All right, my wow. own Jalen Hurts was one for a minute. He, for like, go. I think a, a day and a half, he might have yeah. been the highest paid quarterback in history. And then, but. And, then, <laughs> and, then it, and then I think it just boils down to really, you know, where, where the rubber meets the road. Yeah. When we're in our retail establishments right. or our partners right. out here, we have gorgeous new boxes with the players on there. Right. You, see, you see players with helmets on that have the team logos it's not a blank helmet right because we're the official yeah. tv part in the nfl so people are coming up you know we had great op- opportunities great exposure during the draft they were doing preseason yeah. now when the real season kicks off people are going to go buy a new tv they're going to walk in they're going to see a bulk stack of tcl with nfl on it it's going to be make customers much more comfortable with the brand for those again who haven't bought a tv in seven or ten years that are just starting to hear more and more about tcl yep. they're going okay so official tv the nfl um the last tv partner of the nfl um, a number four ranked Samsung. Right. Um, I think they're doing okay. Yeah, I think uh, so. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think it's, they did it's great okay to, for Great them. to have this partnership and really bring TCL well, to the next level. And, and you got you beat me to it and being able to ask it, but the, the, like it's awesome for obviously an awesome opportunity yep. for you to be that official partner. Um, the retailer can benefit from this exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah. So cool we're doing say. we're doing lots of great promotions, kind of a short term thing. We won't have much longevity, but as an example, um, we're doing a great partnership with Google yep. uh, with NFL Sunday Ticket. Depending on a TV, TCL TV that you buy, you can get up to two hundred dollars off NFL Sunday Ticket. Okay. Um, so that's something that's great for our retail partners because it's yeah. a free promotion for them, um, which always helps the bottom line uh, and gives customers an incredible value. And there are yeah. millions and millions of football fans out there that love NFL Sunday Ticket and even Red Zone, which I, I, I can't <laughs> I can't watch Red Zone. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. Hey, listen, but... I, I have undiagnosed ADD, so that's perfect <laughs> oh, for me. I, it, is, perfect. it was made for yeah. people like I'm me. Like, <laughs> I want to go, go pee. I want to go get the wings. I can't. I don't have time. It's, it's, it's so much fun to it's watch. It's incredible. Though. No, that's, that's a awesome. great season. Well, Bruce, I, I appreciate this man I, we can see the uh, excitement on the floor behind us i know I, i've stolen you away for enough time you got oh. you got two areas to go exactly. cover down there so I, yeah. thank you again thank you for everything you guys do yeah. to not only to support us but to support your members they're they're the ones here that, that make it all happen for us so thank you guys for doing that it's great oh. to be here yeah absolutely and uh, until next time yeah, awesome appreciate man. you thank you <laughs> take care Awesome, and thanks again to Bruce, um, you know, for stepping off of the floor and uh, into our our staff lounge <laughs> in Nashville for uh, that podcast. A fun, like I said, a fun conversation. Um, always great to catch up with him, and and you know, unique to see how they're leveraging that NFL relationship, um, you know, beyond some of the I, what I think would be obvious ways, and you know, how they're also allowing their retail partners to do the same in, in their own businesses. So, um, really cool to see that partnership grow and and look forward to following that story in the months and years to come so appreciate bruce and as always appreciate you listening to the independent thinking podcast and we'll catch you next time Uh